Hey, good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to my channel. I decided that instead of waiting till Monday to do my ads, uh, my grocery sale ads, that I'm going to do them on the Friday or the Saturday because that's when the sale, new sales start. Okay, so I messed up and I was supposed to do them Monday, then I was going to do them Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, I got the ads in the mail and I threw away the old ads by mistake and never got to do a video. Yeah. Yeah, Mimi has a lot on her mind. However, I am going to start doing them on either a Friday or Saturday, preferably a Friday, because that's when people get paid and we want to know what's on sale and what's going on. So um, there are only two grocery stores that I go to, and I throw away the other ads. I, I just I don't go to those stores. I'm not going to bother. I used to get an Aldi ad in the mail. I don't get it anymore, so I have to go online. So Aldi is always my first choice. My second choice is always Shores. My third choice is Market Basket. Now, Market Basket is a lot lower in price. They have a heck of a lot more to pick from, but it is like a zoo in there. You can't even push your carriage. So, I mean, you could go there at the minute they open the doors at 7 a.m. and you cannot move in that store. So um, it's it's definitely a panic attack waiting to happen. So I try not to go there. <laughs> but one thing I did notice on the Shores ad for this week is red, green, or black grapes are $1.77 a pound and you're allowed two bags. Um, one is fine for me. I love black grapes. So really, really love the black grapes. They're sweet. Oh, they're just so good. If I do get two bags, I'm going to try to make jelly out of one of them. I've never made grape jelly, but we'll see. Or grape jam. Um, they also have T-bone steaks or lamb chops on sale, $6.97 a pound, limit two. Um, country style ribs or center cut pork chops are $1.47 a pound, limit two. And then they have shrimp, um, deveined. And peeled raw shrimp, five seventy-seven a pound. That's about it. That's like the only thing that's really tempting me at Shores is the grapes. So I'm gonna look a little bit more. I don't really see anything here. Um, they have a lot of like buy two get two free, but the two that you're buying, the price is triple of what it was in 2020. So, and then they don't even put the price on it, so you don't even know ahead of time what you're spending. Now here's the deal. They have their 10 for 10. So you have to buy 10 items, mix and match, and then whatever items you get out of that, out of that, um, that's the price you pay. So uh, the Chibani yogurt is a dollar, the little cups that I buy, um, which is good because they used to be on sale a lot of times, for like 88 cents. Again, 2020. Um, and they've just shot right up. Uh, and now they even have, um, they even have the, uh, yeah, yeah, it's four and a half to 5.3 ounces. I'm sorry, made a mistake. They have Kraft macaroni and cheese, sparkling ice or power aid, friendly's ice cream cup, six ounce cup. That's a ripoff to me. Um, cereal in a cup, another ripoff. Uh, can Libby's canned vegetables are a dollar a can. Um, chicken of the sea salad, white tuna, five ounces is a dollar. And then they have, um, bird's eye frozen vegetables, 10 to 10.8 ounces. And they are a dollar. But, I mean, it's not even a pound. It's just, I'm not impressed. I'm sorry. I'm just not impressed. Um, Oscar Maya bacon, $3.99. They can't say per pound because it says 12 to 16 ounces. So some packs might be 12 ounces, some might be 16. Basically, this is all junk. Everything that they've been putting in here, um, quick frozen um, microwave junk. I mean, if that's all you can do to cook, that's fine. But it's, it's almost like they're promoting bad eating habits. They don't have anything here. They have Folgers Coffee on sale for $7.99. This is mix and match, any five. Um, so even I don't even like Folgers Coffee, or I'd say I'd buy five of them. I just don't like that coffee. Um, yeah, this, this is horrible. $4.99 for bag of Doritos. 
seven ounces. That's supposed to be a good, that's supposed to be a, a sale. So I guess one thing you have to understand about these ads is they're not sale ads unless it's like one of these in yellow. Um, really, really mocked down and they limit them and they're promoting it as a sale. Everything else is an advertisement. They're just telling you what their prices are. It's not a sale. Okay. So let's go over here to Market Basket and see what they have. Oh. Well, they have Bell and Evans Fresh Chicken Potty Wings for $2.99 a pound. Um, fresh Pork St. Louis Spare Ribs, $2.99 a pound. That might be pretty good. Then they got their shrimp. They got a two-pound bag for $16.99. Top round roast, $3.99 a pound. And the rest, here it is. K-Cups, Entenmann's Pastries, Jaw Sauce, um, the Albacore Bumble White Tuna is three for four. Chips, Coffee Creamer, Bread. Uh, why do you need air fryer vegetables? Like, is that a thing now? Um, eggplant, 99 a pound. Cauliflower, two ninety nine each. And you can bet your bottom dollar they're this big. Uh, raspberries, two for five. Six ounces, two fifty. I might just keep my raspberry bush. Use them, use it for bothering. Um, I don't like raspberries, but hey, you know what? It's going to produce. Somebody out there is going to want them. Condiments, chips, it's just junk. There is nothing, nothing is in these ads. Um, I, I just, I, I just can't. I just can't. I am so glad that I eat whole foods. I don't eat lunch meat, really. Once in a while, I buy it. Like, I bought it a few weeks ago. I bought some ham. I bought some turkey and some cheese. And even that took me forever. Like, I had to eat it, like, three times a day to get rid of it um, and not waste it. But um, I think I'll just be running to Shores for grapes and um, all these for peaches, I think they're 95 or 97 cents a pound. I'll be canning those up. But other than that, I'm not spending any money. I don't need to. I don't need anything. I need paper towel and um, laundry detergent. So it's going to be a low spend month. So that's it for me, folks. Um, those are the ads. I hope you learned the difference between a sales ad and an advertisement. So... Keep that in mind. Not everything you see is a sale price. It's, they're just letting you know what their prices are. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll catch you guys on my next one.